hi guys i am back today with another video i am starting off today with three six inch cake rounds and i am using my buttercream frosting making sure that my buttercream is frosted evenly in between my layers i'll also leave the video links to both my recipes for the chocolate cake and buttercream in the description box below I'm just making sure my cake is nice and even before I start on my crumb coat. Now on to my crumb coat. And my crumb coat is basically just a thin layer of frosting to seal in any of the crumbs. And that way when I go back in for my final frosting, I don't have any crumbs showing. I'm also making sure that while I'm doing my crumb coat, I am going through any of the gaps in between my cake layers and filling those in. Once I'm done with my crumb coat, I will go ahead and just clean off my cake board and place this into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now we can start with the final frosting. And I'm just putting a whole bunch of frosting on top of my cake and just working my way down. I feel like this is a lot easier just for me um, instead of going back and forth to get my frosting onto my cake. Now I am using my cake scraper and just making sure I get the nice even sides. I'm cleaning off the top of my cake and then I'm going to place this back into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just so that my buttercream has time to freeze so that I can start painting it. And these are the colors that I will be using today. These are Chef Master brand. Now on to painting the cake. This is actually my first time doing um, a painted rainbow cake or and also my second time doing a painted cake. I honestly didn't know how it would turn out. At this point, I was just looking at a whole bunch of spots on my cake and so I wasn't really sure how it was gonna look at the end, but I just kept going on with my theme. Now on to my next color. And there's no specific order in how I am painting this or the size or shapes of my circles. I'm just putting it onto the cake. And of course I'm making sure that I have enough room and space for all of my colors that I'm using today. I'm halfway there and I was still nervous to see how this would end up looking. onto my orange and then 
I will finish it off with the red. Final one, now we can start with the black colored gel. Now once I started painting on the black color gel, I noticed that my spots didn't look more like spots, they looked more like leopard prints and so I was kind of glad that it was turning out. I'm really just going in and just filling in all of my spots with the black. And these are all color gels that I am using. And this is what my cake looks like, you guys. This is my painted version of a rainbow leopard print cake. Hopefully you guys like my video and how I make this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. If you guys have any suggestions, don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see as well also. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.